r slash ask reddit. Men of reddit, what myth about men is 100% untrue and infuriates you when you hear it when you that we can never not be in the mood and if we are we must be sick or cheating. I had an ex who pushed for 6 while I had a tube coming out of my back to drain my kidney and was on opiates that make it nearly impossible for me to finish. She got hers though. Did you kill her? Who are you? FBI? CIA? NSA? Told you guys to leave me alone. Erections mean we want sex. Even as adults, they can still be random. Not even random. Studies have been done and, even when a man is absolutely terrified, stimulation on the penis can cause an erection. Never heard of a fear boner before. The proper term is ferection. You get a ferection, and then you are scariosed. I believe one first gets scariosed, followed by getting a ferection, leading to the inevitable herorgasm. If I'm with my daughter, I'm not babysitting. I'm being a father. This one hits home. My wife went on a momcation with my sister over the weekend and everyone was asking what about the baby? UMM. The baby will be with me Sharon. Her dad. Oh. Are you babysitting this weekend? No Karen. I'm parenting. Get ducked. That men find it normal to cheat and brag about it. Edit. Holy crap. Never expected this many upvotes. Never mind silver and gold. Thanks kind redditors. Any man who cheats on someone loses my respect instantly. Same goes for women. And ensure my feelings are shared by most guys. I don't understand why people assume that. Edit. IDK why me saying cheaters were bad deserved gold. But thanks for that. And the silver kind strangers. Men are worse communicators than women. Really depends on the man and the woman. I actually recently swapped the subject I was studying from animal care to applied science, which took my classmates from being mostly women to mostly men, which is fine. Similar thing happened in my workplace a few years back, but I noticed a lot less gossip and drama within the group of men vs the women. Not saying all women are like this, or men. But a lot of the problems, especially in the workplace, stemmed from bad communication. That if we like children, but don't have children of our own we're automatically given at the very least a little grilling, if not straight out asked if we're a pedophile. I like dogs too, for pretty similar reasons. Nobody ever asks me if I'm a dog ducker. Are you a dog ducker? Well, thank you for asking. No I'm not, well at least not anymore. Surprisingly bitty. That we are all not interested in or incapable of being involved in the planning of our weddings. I cannot tell you how many comments like remember, it's her day, not yours. I received during the two year lead up to our wedding. I'm not going to lie to you and say I'd been looking forward to getting married since I was 12 or something, but I took an active interest together with my wife in the planning of our wedding. It's not my day, it's hers. Duck that. It was our day. We planned it together. Her vision definitely brought it all together, and she did a ducking astounding job, but she didn't just make decisions on her own. We talked together about, and worked together on every single thing, involved in the event. And we were both ecstatic with how it turned out. It turned out beautifully. I try not to toot my own horn very often, but I never thought the best party I'd ever go to would end up being my own. My own parents, who are in an incredible, cooperative, supportive, happy married relationship, and are the best parents I could have possibly asked for, for the record, gave me grief about this sort of thing, when I was telling them that, if slash when I get married, I want a smaller, not exorbitantly expensive wedding. They both, especially my dad, insisted that my hypothetical fiancé would be the one calling all the shots. Now that I type it out, I have to wonder if that's them perpetuating the stereotype or calling me spineless. Smaller is the way to go. The current wedding industry is ducking predatory with the amount of money they expect a relatively new couple to spend on what is ultimately a glorified party. Financial issues are a prime reason why people get divorced and what does our society do? Immediately saddle the new couple with a huge financial burden because it's expected. Duck that crap. It's getting better now, but back in the day basically every guy on TV was a sports obsessed, car slash motorcycle loving, beer swilling moron who couldn't function without his wife to look after him and the kids. 
My wife went away last week for work and I'll have you know that only half my kids got eaten by wolves. You did your best, man. Wolves always hunt in packs, so you were probably outnumbered. Plot twist. He only has one kid. Well, half of one now. Men can't multitask. Every time I hear that I have to stop what I'm doing so I can get angry. Edit. Thank you to all who upvoted and thank you even more to the kind souls who thought this worthy of the gold and silver. Mayo, but actually no one's really a good multitasker. We all just think we are. Mythbusters tested it I think. Edit. Thank you. Now this is my best post with I'm the best you come to in second. Men can't be abused by woman. Or that men can get assaulted slash harassed by other men. I've had some very pushy gay men approach me, one going as far as trying to touch my ass and dick inside my underwear, after I said like three times that I'm straight and not interested. Luckily the women I was out with immediately chastised that guy. But tbh guys laugh at me when I tell that story and talk about how badly they world beaten him up. Women who I've told always reacted shocked and emphatic. I was roofied at a gay bar a few months ago. Nothing happened, but I'm pretty certain it was only because I left the bar and somebody found me out on the sidewalk outside the bar unable to move or do anything really and called my friend to pick me up using my phone. We're all unable to control our nature to have sex. Believe me if I couldn't control myself you'd have noticed by now. Yo my first gold on reddit ever. Thanks, you beautiful human beings. I'm the oldest of three girls and my mom raised us by saying that all men only want sex and they will do anything to get it, even rape children. We are all deeply paranoid of men and hypervigilant parents and have really ducked up relationships and holy crap I'm having a revelation. It's like we have the same mother. When I first got my period my mom told me that all the men will be out to get me and how much they love to get virgins that just started and all men want is sex. I was 9. It took me so long to get over my fear slash paranoia of men. The whole men think about sex every 7 seconds thing. If you think that's true, I have a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. Is the bridge sexy though? The trusses are designed to be fully sufficient for carrying the load. Yet they do so in a seductive come hither manner. Men think about sex every x amount of seconds. I'm a grown man with a life. I have more to think about than just sex. Agreed. I also just thought about sex. Yeah my sex thought budget for the day has been expended. No more for me today, no sorry. Man who works at Dekar are pedophiles. Every year there are people who complain I work there. Meanwhile the women working at Dekar aren't even watched and get away with casual child abuse. I knew one colleague who drinks alcohol on work. Last time I reported, I got a warning about snitch on colleague isn't accepted. That is when I went to a rather daker. That dads are dopey morons barely capable of caring for themselves, let alone their kids. My gf of almost 9 years made a joke like this in front of her friends after we started living together. The first time I let her slide because I wasn't sure what she meant. I asked in private and she didn't know. She just said it. The second time I stopped and said. Who's the one that goes grocery shopping for healthy meal preps that you end up wasting? Who does 90% of the cooking? When was the last time you cleaned the counter, let alone the toilet? She's never brought it up since. I've met dudes that complain about this, but then use it as an excuse to be lazy. If I did, that we'd be living in filth. And I just don't have that in me. Been married 4 years, my wife complained I didn't do enough. I told her I did plenty. She insisted. A parley was struck. For two weeks I did nothing. This was easy since I'm home and awake, maybe four hours a day. By the end of it, the sink was overflowing. The trash was piled high. The floors were disgusting. The laundry was backed up. And all the other fixed tasks were completely ducked. She hasn't said a word since. My trick. Clean up as you go. If you're the last to use it up or fill it up then take care of it. Years of taking care of a wood shop translates well to housekeeping. Daughter to a single dad here. There was this myth I discovered when I was young. It's something almost all my female friends were told, but thankfully not me. The myth is a belief that there are such things as girl business where only your mom or other older females in the family should help you with. 
As the only girl in the house growing up my dad helped me understand and deal with a great many girl business problems. Meanwhile all my friends had their moms to handle it for them. When my friends found out my dad was sort of in charge of handling those with me they were shocked. They asked me why I didn't have an aunt or grandma to help instead. Well, my aunts all live at least 10 hours away, and grandma is even further. I began to realize over the years that there might actually be negative side effects to this girl's only way of thinking. Sure, having another female assist you with those issues might be less awkward and embarrassing, but there's already an inherent awkwardness and embarrassment associated with it. Learning to overcome the embarrassment is part of growing up and accepting your body. Furthermore, I have since grown up and began studying psychology and done some research into this further for my studies. I'd have to do a more in-depth and wide-reaching survey and analysis to come to findings I'd be comfortable with being peer-reviewed, but I have a theory that the girl's only mentality causes relationship issues later in life. Young girls grow up thinking that there are some aspects of womanhood men not only don't understand but can't understand. It makes them not only less trusting of male partners, but also keeps them from seeing men as equals when it comes to parenting. Sure, if you're a mom of a young girl there's no reason for you to not continue helping her with all the complex feminine issues she's going through. Just be careful not to make her think her dad doesn't empathize or understand too. Don't make him this distant third party who will never get it, or someone who should not be involved because he has a penis. That's the same toxic female attitude that causes soccer moms to call the cops on a dad when he takes his daughter to the park to play. Men can parent too, and they are surprisingly good at raising young girls on their own. That we cannot parent as well as a woman. That we need a random woman to come hold a man's child because they're crying. That we are babysitting when our spouse isn't with our babies. Yeah that stereotype is so damn dumb. I mean I changed thousands of diapers and it never bothered me once. I was perfectly capable of dressing my kids. I know how to open a jar of baby food. I wash and hang my kids school uniforms. I'm not looking for a prize, but I'm also not looking to be treated like I'm an idiot. I'm a nurse and before that I was a nurse's ed working in a nursing home changing adult diapers every day. One day I was at a restaurant holding my daughter when I realized that she had a dirty diaper. I handed her to my wife so I could extricate myself from the booth when a woman at the next table made that disapproving cch noise and said, typical. I stood up took my daughter back along with the diaper bag, turned to this woman and said, please, lady, I'm a nurse, I've changed the diapers of people bigger than you, and I went off to the bathroom. That we miss signs that women give them because they are stupid, we see them, but we don't want to be creepy slash jump to conclusions, edit, or we are not interested. This 1000x over, I used to pick up on signals and not act on them for two reasons. 1. Low self-esteem. 2. I was terrified of taking something the wrong way and getting trapped in a situation where the girl would actually not have been flirting. There's any number of bad outcomes if a girl does something you think is flirting. For 1. Obviously, she could call you a creep for coming on to strong since you already thought she liked you. For another, maybe you just don't want that one last blow dealt to your self-confidence. It's a tricky situation. I was terrified of taking something the wrong way and getting trapped in a situation where the girl would actually not have been flirting. The core tenet of my life. It's not the rejection. It's being labeled that guy. Get too close to a child and you are automatically branded a pedophile. I work as low tier manager in toy store and even though I have company t-shirt and name tag, people still ask me if I work there. People still look at me weird when I'm going around the store doing whatever. It's sometimes hard to ignore. I just hope people will understand that working at my dream job doesn't mean I want to do stuff to their kids. It hurts sometimes. I used to eat my lunch at a local lake that has a park next to it. I would park facing the lake with the park behind me. I just sat in my car, listened to podcasts, and ate my lunch. One day a lady called the cops on me for being suspicious, said she was afraid for her children's safety. Luckily the cop was cool and told the lady I was free to eat there since it was a public place, but I didn't really want to risk getting a not cool cop in the future. So goodbye calming lake.
Hello depressing parking lot. Edit. I appreciate the support. I'm going to go ahead and start going again. I shouldn't really have let one incident over several years of eating there deter me but it just made me really anxious. Duck that crap. Eat at your calming lake.